Hello and welcome to our channel with an upcoming new manhwa story called Folding the Moon. Sit back and enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. It is nighttime, about two in the morning at Nanwu Airport, and a girl is seen on her phone. She is Yun Li, and the other person that she seems to be texting is Iao. Turns out, Iao isn't a person but a company. Iao tells her that she shouldn't worry as they invited her for an experience at their VR facility. They add that they would love her to take a video to spread the word and they will be more than happy to cover her travel, food, and living expenses. Yun Li tells them that she has sent an email and they reply that, of course. They add that the driver is on their way and asks her to let them know once the driver has picked her up. These texts were exchanged by around one, however, it is now two and she texts them. The person is Ms. He and Yun Li texts her asks if the driver isn't there yet. She types a long text, at first apologizing to Ms. He for contacting her at such late time at night and informs her that she has been waiting for about an hour for the driver, but nevertheless, he hasn't shown up until now. Furthermore, she tells her that she can tell her if her driver can't make it last minute and asks her to let her know so that she could sort out the accommodation issues on her own. Though the text isn't sent and just written as a draft, she tells her to forget the text and doesn't send it as it sounds too fierce. She is frustrated as she knows that she has been invited to help them gain more exposure. Just as she is thinking to herself, a man approaches her and asks her if she is there for a holiday. Yun Li goes into an alert mode as she tells him, no thanks. He is confused by her answer and she tells him that she is waiting for someone and that she doesn't intend to stay at a hotel. The guy is even more confused and, and looks at her and Yun Li is also kind of confused. He informs her that he just wanted to ask if he could have her. We chat and Yun Li is embarrassed and tells him that she is sorry as there were a few people who have approached her, asking her if she needed accommodation arrangements. His facial expression changes as he tells her that it is all right and asks for her we chat again. Yun Li is surely stressed and tells him that sure he could and offer him her phone to scan the QR code. His username sound seems weird to her, and he tells her that he is Fujing, as he tells her that they can hang out whenever she is free. Yun Li thinks that with this username, he cannot say that he was not trying to draw in customers. He asks her if she is going to EAW to the VR experience thing, which catches Yun Li off guard. And he wonder how he knows that. He turns around and talks to himself that it doesn't start until the end of the month and why she is already present. Yun Li sneakily turns around, but he hears her and tells her that he isn't a bad person and that he just saw her message by chance while exchanging WeChat. He adds that he just wanted to start a casual conversation. He yells that the gallery is near his campus, and he just guessed it. She turns around and tells him that it isn't about him, but rather she left because her ride had just arrived. He waves at her and tells her that EAW was founded by his older brother, and if they get a chance, they could explore it together. She heads out and talks to herself that he was telling her that the company was founded by his older brother and tells that he should have told that he is the founder. She was being sarcastic if you couldn't tell. She receives a notification. She proceeds to check her phone and Ms. He tells her that she is terribly sorry as she fell asleep and had missed the message from the driver saying that they unfortunately couldn't make it. Furthermore, she tells Yun Li that she has rearranged one of their staff to get her, and he is just right about the corner as she mentions that it will only take him ten minutes to arrive. Miss Hei tells her that after she has exited the airport and has crossed the road, there should be a parking lot across the street. She tells her to wait another ten minutes. She informs he that the license plate is 6636 and apologizes again. Yun Li is relieved that they finally replied, and it is raining outside, so she brings her umbrella out to shield her from the rain. She sees the number plate, the same that was on the text, 6636. A guy walks out of the car wearing a raincoat and looks at Yun Li. Yun Li's heart start to act up, 
as she blushes really hard. The guy takes the suitcase from her hands, and she tells him that it is fine as she can handle it. She thanks him, and as the guy is placing the luggage in the boot of the car, his raincoat's hood comes off exposing his hair to the rain. Yun Li thinks to herself that she believes that she seems to have seen a rainy day's moon. He shuts the boot, and Yun Li finally snaps out of her own little imaginary world and offers the umbrella to him. She tells him that the rain is quite heavy and proceeds to tell him to get some cover. He looks over at her, but I don't think Yun Li can get a hold of herself and stop herself from blushing. He fixes the umbrella's angle so that it just covers Yun Li from the rain and covers himself with the hood as he tells her that it is no need. Yun Li remembers that whenever she used to tide taxes in the past, she would always sit at the back quietly and spoke only when the she had to pay the fare. However, sitting in the passenger seat of a stranger's seat surely felt awkward for her as she wipes the water from her clothes. Yun Li summons up all the courage she had and tells him that she is sorry. She made him come all the way just to pick her up. Even he doesn't really respond properly. He asks her where she needs to go, and she pulls out her phone to check and tells him, Yanjin Hotel. He still doesn't reply to her properly and just, mmms. She wonders how the two people she met tonight, their personalities are so different, different than each other. One who was fiery and loud and the other who is cold, quiet. But nevertheless, she considers both of them extremely attractive. He looks over to her and tells her that they have arrived at the destination. They get out of the car and he tells her to just enter the hotel from there, and she thanks him. Just as he is heading towards the car, she notices that it is still raining and asks him to wait. The guy stops and Yun Li's heart seems to be skipping beats. As she informs him that it doesn't look like the rain will be stopping anytime soon. She tells him that she will be going to EAW tomorrow and asks him to leave it at the front desk as she offers him her umbrella. She places the umbrella on the car's bonnet and thanks him again for the ride as she panics towards the hotel's doors. Just as she enters the hotel, she looks back to see that the umbrella she kept on the car was gone and she smiles, thinking that he had taken it with him. Yun Li changes into her nightwear and is so tired that when she lays on the bed, she tells herself that it is finally time to relax as she talks to herself, that if she was to judge just by the looks, she liked the guy who was cold more. Wow, that is a different type of choice, my girl. Yun Li opens her eyes and finds herself in the passenger seat of a car. The same guy from before opens the door for her and tells her that they have arrived at their destination. When Yunli asks that weren't they headed for the hotel and questions where they are right now, she hears a man laughing and just as she turns around, it turns out to be Fu Zheng as he tells her that if she wasn't being so stubborn at the airport, he wouldn't have done this. He further tells her that the cold guy is the leader of their criminal gang. The fear in Yun Li's eyes can't seem to be written in words and she starts to fall back and retreat. Soon she starts to run and just as she running, she is stabbed. Stabbed by what you might wonder, the umbrella which she gave that cold guy. Yun Li quickly opens her eyes and wakes up. Turns out it was a nightmare that she just witnessed and tells herself that it was a ridiculous dream. She turns her phone on to reveal a message from EMW that she needs to arrive by nine, and she tells herself that she still has time to do makeup. At the Haitian Center, a lot of people are present as some people comment that the venue's decoration is done in immaculately as it feels SCI-Fi, while his friend replies that they are now done looking around and tells him that he is going to check out the pitch black tank and the space capsule. Miss Hay, whose full name is Hei Jia Meng, is EAW's staff. She informs them that they should feel free to look around and see if anything piques their interest, and once the event starts, they can experience it for themselves. Yun Li is typing something in the notes app when she is notified that a phone's battery only has 5% remaining, and she remembers that she forgot to charge her phone last night. She approaches Ms. He and asks her if they have any phone chargers, as her phone is on the verge of dying.
Miss He tells her that it isn't necessary to call her M's when she can just call her Jia Meng. Furthermore, she tells her that the chargers are located in the lounge, and since it is eerily, she will take her there. Jia Meng signals Yun Li to follow her, and she apologizes for the inconvenience this might have caused Jia Meng. Jia Meng taps her card on the reader and the door opens where she tells Yun Li that the chargers are on the table and there are power outlets near both the table and the sofas. Yun Li thanks her and Jia Meng tells her that she will now head back. But Yun Li needs anything. She can always contact her and Yun Li plugs her phone into the charger as her phone lights up indicating that it is charging. There are Manhua finishes. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button if you really enjoyed watching this video and do subscribe with that notification bell turned on so that you don't miss on our updates. Your feedback will encourage us to do more, so make sure to let us know in the comments. Thanks.